if you are a parent of a teenage driver or student driver or you have just young drivers in your household that drive your your teslas or if you have other folks who drive your cars and you just want to have a way to be able to limit or control what they do with the car then this here is for you in tesla's newest update 2024 the 26 there is something new you have a new option or a new setting called parental control and what that does is it lets you be able to put some controls in place for if you have teenage drivers student drivers young drivers or if you just want to have parental controls for anybody so if you're interested in that this is for you. If you do, don't fall into any of those categories, you don't have any of those drivers, don't turn out just yet. There's something for you in here too. But on that note, let's jump into what's new with this new update here and how you can get those printer controls set up and going. All right, so let's get to it in here. I like I mentioned, the key thing we're gonna talk about here is the new update that's 2024, the 26. And if I go in here, you can see right there, 2024, the 26. And if I go into the release notes, show you here you've got a few other things here we're going to be talking a lot more about this printer controls uh, not too much yet but just telling you what that's about and then there's some other things that's part of this new update here too scheduling preconditioning and charging weather forecast and air quality and also navigating to sub destinations but like i said for those parents who have young drivers teenage drivers student drivers or if you have people that drive your car and you want to have limits on that car you can use this also for those situations so creator controls what this would do here it was it will give you the option to limit the acceleration the maximum speed limit and you it also gives you the option to force safety features like speed limit warning automatic emergency braking forward collision warning and night curfew to be on now you can set these settings here either from the car or from your app it's pretty easy on your car, go to your menu, go to safety, and just right there, a little bit below there, you're gonna see these new options here that says parental controls. You tap that to on, they're gonna have these four options here. The speed limit, acceleration, safety features, and the curfew. So speed limit, if you turn that on, you can then go here and say, well, I don't want whoever is driving this car to go more than 80 miles per hour. Acceleration, you can choose to force that to be on chill. So that way they can be launching from go from zero and trying to do racing at stoplights kind of a thing. This will force that to be on chill. You can also require certain features so like all oh, the four collision warnings and everything. Those cannot be turned off. So it just forces those drivers to be reminded of those safety warnings when they come up. And then this here is a coffee notification where it will send you an app notification if the car is driven between 11 p.m. and 4 a.m. The only thing right now with this is you cannot change that time. That time is set right now by Tesla for 11 to 4 a.m. It would be nice if they can make that time be something that you can set yourself. But as of right now, it's set to just 11 p.m. to 4 a.m. You have to set up a pin. So now that I have the settings turned on, when I go and I go into drive, you see here now I've got that warning that tells me my speed is limited to 80. Another thing is, like I said, if you want to change the driving dynamics to go from chill to a standard, in this case here, I've got a long range, I cannot change that setting. If I want to try the steering wheel control that I've set to change that there, I'm scrolling the wheel and nothing, it's not, it's not moving. So I am logged into that chill mode. So that's one way that you can use that to make sure that your drivers your teenage driver or young drivers are staying safe and like i said you can do it through the app also if you go on the app and you go into security you will have the option for parental controls you turn on the settings you want put the pin and then you'll be good to go if you don't want to use a pin anymore you can choose to clear that pin by clicking clear pin you have to do that on the app though and then that will clear the pin and so you can also the new pin if you want going forward so that's it for the main part there of printer controls that's one new thing that you have now very useful for if you have teenage drivers student drivers or young drivers or people you just don't trust to make the most safe decision intentionally or unintentionally in your car like i said though if you're not here for printer controls there's something here for you too because there are other things that have changed in this car with that update let's talk about climate control this screen here is now different as you can see before you had front and rear that was here on the left side you had the fan speed that was here at the top 
and your climate keep camp was over here on that side now it's all changed you'll notice also too a lot of these icons here no longer have like boxes around them now they're just more like just freestanding but long story short here's where you get to change your front or rear controls now how to turn on the rear ref it's right there go back to the front i've got that here my front control is now here it used to be bigger it's now smaller here i'm not sure if i'm a fan of that and then you've got your steering and windshield wiper used to be here in the middle down here but that's all been we flipped now and your camp keep dog mode they are now up here stand alone by themselves if you don't care that it's not been shifted a lot and you have to learn everything that's why i've got i've got this little bar here that if you want to have something that's just static i've got this little bar here this controls my ac fan speed this controls my rear ac vent and so this is a way where if you want to don't want to deal with all the stuff changing you have static physical controls here that i can use but basically that's one way you can avoid all of that there so that's that some other things that's happened here now you also have a weather forecast and air quality indicator built into your car so if i was to be here i'm gonna do this and i tap that temperature there now i've got weather forecast by the hour so you can see from my location it shows me the weather i see what it is right now and it shows me what it will be going forward for the next every hour for the next about seven hours or so i've got my chance of rain i've got my aqi so air quality index and so this tells you if it's good moderate poor and what that number is so if you care about that You've got that option in here here too and this will follow your current location so you can see what that says another thing that's also new here too is when you're making phone calls now there's an option where it can reduce the fan speed so right here it can reduce the fan speed during calls so if you're on a phone call and your ac is on auto when you have a call come in with this setting turned on it will reduce the fan speed while you're on that call i want to end the call the fan speed will go back to normal the goal of that is to help reduce the noise that you get from the fan blowing oh one more thing scheduling so on that ac now you have this option here of scheduling and you can schedule your preconditioning or your charge you can see here now i've got a charge schedule here where monday through friday i have it set to charge only between 10 p.m and 5 a.m and on saturday or sundays basically charge all day it was weird setting up that time so i just did it that way and you can choose to make it repeat weekly or just one time so right now it will only do monday through friday and that's it well i have it turned to repeat weekly and then this one to repeat weekly so you can schedule your charge now before you only had one time and you could choose weekdays or all week now you can be specific to each specific days you can see you get a choice of picking what day of the week so if you are different places or you want to charge different days of the week you can set a schedule for those specific days specifically the same thing for preconditioning you can now choose to precondition your car by day and by time so i can say and even have multiple schedules for the same day so now i can say well on monday at 8 a.m maybe before i head out to work precondition the car so i create that schedule i can go back in and also say on monday at 5 p.m precondition the car so if i'm leaving work at five then do the same thing now it also uses your location if you have your work and home location saved you can set those schedules by those locations in this case it's saying at home precondition by 8 a.m and 5 p.m i can choose to cancel this and then go to work i guess when i'm on work i have no precondition or charging schedule set but i can now say when i'm at work on Mondays at 5 p.m. precondition. So now, when I'm at work, the car will precondition at 5 p.m. You can make it be Monday, Tuesday through Friday. Hit save. So now, basically every day of the week at 5 p.m. when I'm at work, the car will precondition my AC, the cabin. This is not preconditioning your battery for supercharging, but you will get your cabin temperature, cool down your AC, will run everything by that time. And then at home. I can also say at home let's make this 7 30 or 7 45 so i can say at home 7 45 every day of the week i want you to get the car ready for me to go and then we use your current temperature settings and precondition the car and then it's, when i'm at work it will do the same thing so leaving the house in the morning leaving the work in the evening 
the car is good to go. Before now, you didn't have the option of choosing by day or by location. You basically had one option of precondition by this departure time, and that was it. So that's a nice welcome improvement here. You do have to have your home and work addresses saved into your your car for this to work just so you just so, but so that's something that's also been added to this year now you can do that for charging for 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 ac and then other things too on the media settings you now also have the option for amazon music and youtube music amazon music if you have amazon prime then you can log into this or if you have subscribed to amazon music specifically you can take advantage of that also if you have youtube music same thing you can log into your youtube music and enjoy YouTube music. Of course, you already have Spotify, Apple Music, and tuning in here already. So that's Tesla for you. Things change and things get improved with every new update. All right, and so hopefully, if you have young drivers, student drivers, or just anybody that you wanna have those controls for, this video has been helpful in showing you how to do that and what you need to set. And also for everything else that was part of this update, the scheduling of preconditioning your car and your charging. And if you found this useful, by all means, please share your feedback, your own experience or thoughts um, in comments. Also, don't forget to like the video, share it, and subscribe. I will see you next time.